Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. So in today's video, I have a lipstick haul for you guys on the new Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Creams. So these are new lipsticks that Tarte recently released and I was super excited to get my hands on these and grab a bunch of colors because number one, I absolutely love and adore Tarte, you guys. They're one of my favorite brands. My top two are Too Faced and Tarte. If you guys watch my videos, you would know that. I also love their Maracuja Juicy Lip Glosses slash Bombs that they recently released. And so when I saw the creams, I was like, okay, no, I need to try these. So I grabbed five of the new shades that they recently released to share with you guys. I'm going to be trying them out on camera, swatching them on my hands, and sharing my honest thoughts with you guys. So if you guys are interested in seeing what colors I picked, and if you're interested in knowing what my thoughts are on these products and how they look on me and against my skin tone, then make sure to keep on watching. All right, you guys, so before I go in and start trying these lip products on and sharing my thoughts with you guys, I do wanna give you some background on these new lip products. I'm on the Sephora website and I'm reading here that these are supposed to have a satin finish. I know that satin finish is really in right now, so it was really a good move for Tarte to release these. So I'm excited to try them. Um, they're also known to be very hydrating. They're vegan, gluten-free, and cruelty-free. So I was curious to know what the formulation type was. Like, is this going to be like a lipstick, a lip balm, a gloss? What is it? I'm assuming not a gloss because the Maracuja Juicy Lip Balms are more of like a gloss. I've shared those in a lot of my videos, but it's saying here that it's like a lipstick, lip balm, and a treatment because it's hydrating. So it's a balm, a lipstick, and a lip treatment. It's literally everything and all things and it's also saying that it's transfer proof and has up to 12 hours of hydration so let's test these babies out now to finally test these babies I just grabbed the first one and I'm going to try them on in no particular order so the first one I'm trying is the shade iris first off I want to say how I love the packaging I love the light baby pink and the chrome kind of effect super pretty here is the shade iris you guys it is very beautiful and like a deep berry pink So here is Iris Applied, you guys. This is a beautiful color. It's like a cool toned pink. Right off the bat, I wanna say that this lip product is very comfortable on the lips. It is super moisturizing and super hydrating. It just glided on my lips so effortlessly and I'm actually really loving the finish. There's also a lot of pigment on my lips, as you guys can see, and I love the subtle shine that the lip product is giving me and that's definitely because of the satin finish and I love it. Next up, I'm trying the shade Mauve. So here's the shade Mauve beside Iris. You can see it's definitely a little bit warmer and a little bit lighter in color. I'm loving this color, you guys. It's such a beautiful, soft pink on my lips and against my skin tone. I'm honestly really loving the formula. I know I said that it's supposed to be like a lip treatment and honestly, it feels that way. It feels very nourishing on my lips and I kind of like that idea that although I'm getting nice color and nice lipstick throughout the day, I'm also not damaging my lips. I think I'm gonna love these for every day. These these tones and the formula are definitely something that's good for long days and for daytime. It's perfect. They're perfect neutrals, so I'm definitely loving them. Next up, we have the shade 
shade Soft Rose, and I'm gonna go ahead in and swatch it against the first two that I tried, just so you guys can see a comparison. So here is Soft Rose in comparison to Mauve and Iris. This one looks very similar to mauve but it's definitely got a little bit more brown tones in there less pink tones and it also seems a little bit lighter it's got nice brown tones orange tones more neutral tones in there So here is Soft Rose Applied, you guys. In my opinion, I feel like this one's a little bit more sheer than the first two that I tried. It did take me a little bit of work to get some pigment on the lips. This one almost feels like a balm and almost like a gloss. Like, it's very, very sheer. It is super hydrating. I do feel like this feels a lot like a lip treatment. It feels very comfortable on my lips. Like, I would maybe use this as a lip topper or put this on and then put some stuff on top but by itself I feel like it's missing something or maybe even just some lip liner is what I need but this one is a lot more sheer and I would expect a little bit more pigment from a lipstick so I guess they can get away with it because they're calling it a lip treatment a lip balm and a lipstick like it's literally all three of those things so the shade soft rose is definitely more on the lip balm slash treatment spectrum it's not really Really a lipstick I would say at least against my skin tone I'm seeing that it's very sheer next up we have the shade desert rose and I'm gonna first swatch it on my hand so you can compare it to the other shades that I've tried so far and then we'll pop it on the lips Wow, this is a beautiful color. Here is the shade Desert Rose, you guys. It has beautiful warm tones in there, nice orange tones. And I also found that when I glided it on my hand, there was lots of pigment right away. Wow, right off the bat, just with one swipe, I'm seeing a lot of pigment. So I'm just telling you guys right now, there is literally a spectrum with these products. Depending on what color you pick, you're going to get more pigment or you're going to get more of a sheer finish. It really depends. Like I showed you guys the one I just tried before, which was the Soft Rose, was a lot more sheer in my opinion. It obviously has a lot to do with your lips as well. I mean, being a brown girl and having discolored lips, things are going to look more sheer on me. So just keep that in mind when you're deciding if you want to purchase a color, which color is best for you. So here is Desert Rose applied, you guys. There is so much pigment happening with this color. They did a fabulous job with this one. I absolutely love this. This is definitely my most favorite one that I've tried so far in this video. I do have one more to share with you guys, but this is definitely my number one. I love a warm, rich kind of color like this. It's more on like the brown and orange side, not so pink. I definitely love this and it feels amazing it's hydrating it's super soft you guys and I'm living for the pigment I'm so here for it and I love this one and the very last shade I have to share with you guys is the shade mulberry and this looks like it's going to be a deep rich color so I'm super excited to try it here is the shade mulberry you guys in comparison to all the other shades that I tried it's like a beautiful deep dirty rose you guys it definitely has those nice warm pinks in there but they're nice and deep i think i'm going to love this one and this one also seems to have a lot of pigment
So here is Mulberry Applied, you guys, and this is absolutely beautiful. This is definitely my second favorite. I absolutely love this shade. It's gorgeous. I'm noticing that the deeper shades seem to be a little bit more pigmented and more of like a lipstick formula, whereas the lighter shades are a little bit more sheer. This could also just be maybe just my experience with my lips and against my skin tone, but that's just how I'm feeling as I'm trying these products out. All right, you guys, so that is pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, before I go in and close out today's video, I do want to give you guys my final honest thoughts on these Maracuja Juicy Lip Creams and what my feelings are towards them. So overall, I'm actually really happy with these products, you guys. I think that with the sheer colors, I can definitely work around them and use like a lip liner, um, just something to give a little bit more definition to my lips. I definitely would agree that all five of the ones I tried today felt super nice on my lips, super soft and hydrating, and it honestly just felt good putting it on my lips. Like I didn't feel like they were drying and it felt really nice to know that I'm getting a lip treatment in while kind of having a nice lip look for the day. If you're someone like me and you like really pigmented lipsticks or lip products, then I would definitely recommend the more deeper shades like Desert Rose and Mulberry. I'm someone who doesn't really love the sheer look, so I can really appreciate the pigment on these two. Um, so definitely try those ones out. One thing I want to touch on is their shade range. So of course I'm loving the light pinks and you know the nice mauves in there and a little bit of the, the warm orangey tones in there. But something that I hope to see in the future with this lipstick line is maybe more deeper colors just because you know we want to have diversity we want to have deeper shades let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried out these new lip products and let me know what your thoughts are and what your favorite shade is and if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. And you guys, that is pretty much it. I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!